Hello everyone, thanks for watching my video, I hope you find it very useful. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your computer. This is quite a common problem for a lot of people is, uh, you know, a lot of them have uh, slow machines and, um, you know, they can't afford to buy a new laptop, um, so they have to find ways of speeding it up. You can sometimes upgrade your computer with RAM or memory. Um, this can definitely help um, if it supports it. You know, I find a lot of my customers they only have sometimes 512 memory, um, and this is far too slow. But yet, yet it can be upgraded to two gigabyte. Um, this certainly improves the speed of the system. Um, you can certainly do a lot more with it. You know, it prolongs the life of the system a bit. Um, you know, before you go out and fork out for a new one. Um, so yeah, um, but you know, even still there are other ways of speeding it up. If you've known it's gone faster before, um, you, there's probably something in your system that's slowing it down. And you know, this is the thing. Um, over time you might be installing loads of pro products in your system. Um, you might have antivirus. You know, some people have two antivirus products running alongside each other. Having two running alongside each other is not good. You're only meant to have one antivirus software. Uh, running on your system um, so you definitely need to remove it uh, the other one if you have to um, so yeah that's one of the causes um, other is just you know uh, you might have other software on there could be registry cleaners that might run in the background uh, spyware anti-spyware uh, software um, iTunes uh, runs in the background uh, all of those sort of products uh, MSN messenger um, any sort of messenger really um, Skype runs in the background that's all quite heavy um, all these things are slowing your computer down and uh, you know but some of these things like Skype might be very useful to you so you you might not want to remove it um, which is fair enough so we need to find something else that's causing the problem um, Well, I can tell you right now that one of the main causes is antivirus um, especially if you have Norton antivirus this is very heavy on the system um, and I recommend you remove it it's you know, if you've got an older system that is um, Norton is very very big and uh, it's caused a lot of problems for a lot of people I've known Norton 360 to even cut out the internet and after removing it it's worked fine um, I have also known viruses to bypass it and you know I say to people you know if you can see that these viruses have gone straight past it then why bother paying for antivirus software um, when there's free ones out there that do just the same thing that you know are just there as a first line defense because you know all of them are just a first line defense none of them can protect you um, perfectly um, it's only first line defense um, but you know why pay for defense you know if a free one does just the same so you know I'm recommending that we take off Norton antivirus um, or all these heavy products like McAfee uh, even AVG is quite heavy I've known that to be problems with older machines um, but I think you know removing that and then getting the um, Microsoft Security Essential. This is a new one I found and it's very lightweight. I like it. Um, it updates itself. You know, it does scans itself. It's not heavy at all, and I really like this. I've taken off Norton from people's machines. I've put on Microsoft Security Essentials, and it's run very smoothly. Um, so. I'm just going to show you, I haven't got Norton Antivirus on my system right now, um, but I'm going to show you where you can go to remove this product. So to remove Norton, you would go down to the Start menu, just like this, and we're just going to left-click on that Start menu. We're then going to go up to the Control Panel, and we're going to left-click on that. Now in this window here, we're just going to go down to Programs, and we're just going to left-click on that. And then we go right to the top of this box, and we're going to go to Programs and Features, left-click on that. Now here you have a list of the uh, programs you have on your computer which from here you can remove them. Um, like I said before, you know, I haven't got Norton on my system so you won't see it in my list. Um, but um, in your list you will have it on here. So you're just going to scroll down for Norton. I'm just going to pick one for an example. Um, let's see, just my uh, auto tuning for instance. I'll just left click on that. So now I've left clicked on it. Imagine this being Norton antivirus. So um, we just left click on that. You go up to the uninstall and change. Click on that follow the on-screen instructions but follow it very carefully because they try to fool you sometimes um, you want to remove everything um, you know even user data so you must click on that um, you know and sometimes Norton has other products with it so you need to remove all of them as well because they all run in the background and we need to get rid of it um, it's going to be very slow on your system um, once that's done it may ask you to restart your computer um, 
and then we you know, we go back and we'll um, put in the new antivirus software. So after removing Norton Antivirus, you should find um, that it's speeded up your system a little bit. Um, so you can see what I mean. Um, okay, so I should imagine you've now uninstalled Norton Antivirus um, and you've come back to this video. Um, now I want you to go and click on the Internet Explorer icon to go to your internet uh, or any browser. And then in Google, type in uh, Security Essentials. There it is, Security Essentials. Now, before we go any further, I just want to make it clear that uh, there are a few um, nasty sites out there that have hijacked this uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. So we have to be very careful on which one we click on and download. Um, so I'm going to try and make it very clear to you here that um, this is the link we want right here. Um, and, but I want you to look for this underneath it. It's windows.microsoft.com forward slash MSE. That is the website link you need to go to. Um, so if you've got that underneath your website link here, um, that's perfectly fine. So this is the page you should be seeing. This is the, um, the official website. And we're just going to go and left click on free download. Okay, this box should appear and we're just going to go to run. We're just going to wait a little bit till it downloads. Okay, this is just to let you know that you um, do you want to authorize this program to run, so we just press yes. Now we've got the Microsoft Security Essentials box appear, we're just going to go to next. Then the um, terms, um, we're just going to press I accept. This is um, your choice really, it doesn't matter which one you choose, um, but I'm going to put I do not want to join. And then press next. Then it says here, if no firewall is turned on, turn on Windows Firewall recommended. So yes, we do want Windows Firewall turned on, so we have to leave this ticked. And then go to next. That's just preparing to install. And then we're going to go down to install again. Now this might take a little while just to install, so just bear with me a second. Okay, now it, it, this is up to you if you want to do this. You can um, allow it to scan your computer for potential threats after getting the latest updates. Um, just to speed it up a little bit, I'm just going to untick this and go to finish. Now you might see this message at the top that says computer st um, status at risk. Don't worry about this, it will say protected once it's done the um, virus definitions. As you can see, it's downloading right now. This is uh, The virus definitions are basically a database of all the virus threats. Um, so it has to download this for it to detect viruses. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. This might take a little while, it, may, it might stop a little bit, so don't worry, it will finish um, when it's ready to. One of the things I really do hate, you know, about Microsoft sometimes, though, is you know the bar can sometimes get right to the end. It does absolutely nothing, and it doesn't let you know what when it's going to finish or what. Or sometimes another bar might come up after this. That's so really annoying. Um, but you know, this one's okay. I don't I don't mind this at all. Okay, so you've seen the. Um, it's changed from red to green, that means you're protected, that's really good. Okay, so there we have it, we have Microsoft Security Essentials installed. Um, down here, you know, you can change your um, scan schedule. Um, at the moment, it's set to Sunday around um, 2. Um, we're going to click change here because obviously this is, you know, the 24 hour clock um, and I want it set to about one o'clock on a Sunday, and I just want it to do a quick scan. Now, I recommend you do have full scan set, but you know it's entirely entire up to you. Um, it will run in the background and detect viruses, um, but full scan is recommended. And once you've done that, then you click Save Changes. Okay, then in the security box, you just press Yes. Okay, now you can just cross off the uh, with the X 
to close the antivirus program. Okay, it might open in your browser this little thing here saying uh, Internet Explorer 9. Um, I wouldn't bother installing that. I don't like Internet Explorer 9, so we just cross the Internet Explorer off. Close all tabs. Okay, now um, at the bottom here in the bottom uh, right hand corner, you should have Microsoft Security Essentials flag. There it is right here. It should have a green tick. That means it's uh, working. So that's how you install the Microsoft Security Essentials. Another way to uh, speed up your computer is to do a, a defragmentation. Um, you can find this tool in the Start menu. If you left click on that, go to All Programs, go to Accessories, go down to System Tools, and then Disk Defragmenter. You click on that. Now we're going to leave Local Disk C as it is. Um, you can click on the drives you like um, to select it. Um, then you just go to Defragment Disk. You click on that and it will start doing the analyzing and then it will defragment uh, your drive. Now this might take uh, quite a long time to do so you might, might need to uh, go away from the computer and come back um, when it's finished. Um, it's a good idea to do this, it really does help speed it up. Um, it's, it um, makes your hard drive inside the computer where all your uh, data is stored, it makes it work a lot less harder if you do this um, quite often um, so I do recommend it. Another reason for your computer being slow is uh, viruses. You might have viruses on your computer which um, might have bypassed your antivirus software. It's very possible, um, like I say, uh, antivirus software is only first line defense but there are tools out there which you can use to really thoroughly um, see if there is any viruses on your system which your antivirus software might not pick up um, but you should never use it in place of your antivirus software it is only a tool um, so we're going to go and download Malwarebytes this is a very good program um, a lot of computer technicians use it so we're going to go down to Internet Explorer double click on that So in Google we're going to type malware bytes. That's the top one here. And then we go to this link right here. It should have um, the website address www.malwarebytes.org. So we click on that. So this is the um, official site you should be seeing. And we're going to go to download now. This takes you to CNET um, where you can download the file. We click download now again. It's the uh, green box. We're just going to wait for a bit and right at the top you should have a bar that appears. There we go. And we're just going to left click that and go to download file. Just wait a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to click run in this box left click on that okay then you click run and then you're going to click yes when this uh, user account control appears you might not have this but um, a lot of people will do just click yes then OK for English unless you're uh, obviously a different uh, speaking language um, click next accept the agreement click next again next again and next again and next again then it says you know it gives you an option do you want to create a desktop icon do you want to create a quick launch icon um, I'm going to leave it just the desktop icon just click next and then install So that will begin to install and there we are, it's finished. I leave these two ticked. Um, it's going to check for virus uh, definitions and updates. It's going to launch the program. Here we are, it's going to check for updates right now. And it's found one. It does up update regularly, uh, but you have to update it uh, manually, which I'll show you in a minute. Press OK. Unfortunately, this is a trial, so you might want to remove it after you've uh, done a scan. But we're going to, for now, we're just going to press Start Trial, then OK. 
Now you can go to update anytime and check for updates because they do update quite frequently. Um, but we're going to go to scanner here. You can do a quick scan or full scan. It's recommended you do a full scan, um, but I'm just going to use quick scan for now. And then you press scan. Now this one here will go red if there's any viruses. Um, so we definitely don't want any viruses, but this will pick it up um, if you do have one. Now this will take some time, so I am going to cancel. Um, I'm just going to abort right here. Yes, to abort. Um, when you're finished, you will get this box appear. You just cross it off. And if you have any viruses, it will pop up with this box um, that appears with the list of viruses. Make sure they're all checked and click remove all. Um, I think it's remove all anyway, um, something like that. Uh, it might ask you to restart your computer. If it does uh, suggest that, then you do it. Um, when you restart, the viruses should be gone. Um, if it hasn't gone, um, it'll probably need a more advanced way of doing it. Um, probably it's best to do it in safe mode if you know how to do that. Um, there might be another video out there that tells you how to do safe mode. Um, um, I might do it in the future as well. I might uh, go through all of that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and found it very useful. Um, I might make another one um, with a few more tips on how to speed up your computer. Um, so do stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.